Okay, that was actually a lot quicker than I expected. Um, it only wrote to 4F, which took, I don't know, like 5 minutes or so. Um, now, once that's all done, you can unplug the LPT port from your computer and plug in your JTAG into your telly. And, um, yeah, I'll get on the camera and show you what to do next. Okay, so um, it's not pretty, but as you can see, that is the basics of the JTAG with the LPT wire still on. Uh, connected via cable to the telly. I don't. I can't remember what the hell that is. Um, I'm, I'm giving up. My mind's just. Mine's just going. Anyway, and uh, and power. Uh, now all you want to do is turn it on. And on the telly, you should start to see. Eventually, this pop up. Right now, what you're interested in is those numbers right there. Okay, they're only on the screen for a few seconds. So you will basically you want to get a camera, and um, and take a picture of them so you can get them later. So uh, yeah, I'll take them on the PC and show you what's going on next. Okay, so once you've got your uh, photo of your numbers, you want to concentrate on fuse sets four and five. Um, basically, what you want to do is add line four to the start of line five. Um, so gives you a number which is 32 characters long and um, that is your CPU key okay then so um, you have just got your CPU key out of XLS which is that blue menu uh, take a picture of it as I said it's probably the easy way to maintain it uh, what you want to do now is open notepad and type it in there exactly as it is uh, it should be 32 characters long so make sure you've got 32 of them I believe uh, put it in Notepad as I said and make sure you save it. I'm going to copy that, close it. Okay, uh, you want to open your. No, wait, sorry. Uh, you want to download a program called Freeboot, which will be somewhere in the description or in links or somewhere. Uh, open that up and paste in your CPU key. There you go. Uh, generate Freeboot. Find your NAND file, which is on my desktop NAND1. Yes, that's correct. And that should go to 100% and create your freeboot image, which is what you want to now put back on your um, JTAG. There you go, freeboot's been created, so it's on my desktop. There we go. Close that now, I don't need it anymore. Uh, what you want to do now is find your NAMPRO folder with NAMPRO and everything in it. Uh, you want to hold down Shift and right click it, and you get a little extra menu. And you want to click Open Command Window here, and you'll see it's now in the folder instead of typing all that CD and stuff. Uh, you want to nandpro.exe um, lpt dot dot sorry ignore that blue thing uh, minus w16 and right I forgot whoops I need to open the nandpro folder and you want to drag and drop freeboot into there so you see it's called freeboot.bin so write freeboot dot bin and there you go it says writing zero 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 one two three four and that'll go to three f f again I think if I remember rightly so I will come back to you when that's done I think it'll take about 40 minutes you just want to leave it and do nothing else until then so uh, yeah see you in a sec okay then we're back uh, I don't know how long time that is back but basically it's all done uh, unconnect your JTAG and plug it into your telly and see what's going on there now. it should all uh, be working fine okay then so um, just go ahead and plug your JTAG in and slide it up and hopefully it should work um, bearing in mind there's no fan on this yet so you don't want to keep it on for too long but you do want to check that it all works <laughs> fine that's beautiful Lovely. Okay, uh, what you want to do now is put your Xbox back together. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a sec.